Hey everybody, Yost the Coast is here. Glad to see ya. Got a new review for you today. I will be reviewing Kopali from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. At the time of the filming of this, this is not out yet. This was a pre-release copy I was sent for evaluation. I also did receive the matching aftershave splash. Give you a minute to look over the art, beautiful artwork and the side labels. This here is a very resinous and balsamic scent. You're looking at a tree resin, basically. So we're getting a nice, deep, spicy, rich, warm scent off of this. And I will say off the puck, you're probably only getting about a six, which is actually really surprising. For PAA, this is a much lighter scent. Not getting a whole lot of projection off the puck. The scent is essentially a resin from a tree in Southern America. So you're getting those deep woody notes. And it also was noted that the Mesoamericans used to use this scent and burn it as an incense to their gods because they believed that it was a favorite of theirs. And that also the scent, when coming in contact with, you know, with actual people as well, had psychoactive effects and sensorial effects. So this is a scent that was highly regarded during the ancient times. The exact description that is given from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements is green, woodsy, fruity, balsamic, citrus, mint, and soft spice. Definitely pick up just about a little everything of that. It is dark and mysterious. Um, taking out all of the, you know, the fancy words that are used to describe it and all that stuff, I'm just getting a very nice, almost like a burnt resin with a dark wood damp scent. I'm picking up a tiny bit of mint and almost like a frankincense vibe of some sort. Um, I'm getting like an, uh, a fragrance that you would smell from another country, like a foreigner, something that you wouldn't smell in America. And uh, when I put it on, I felt like I came from a foreign country or I'm wearing something that would be in a foreign country, so I really dug it. Very cool. Um, the aftershave itself as well, uh, it is a little more mild than his aftershaves. The longevity is there, I'd say probably seven hours, six to seven hours on this one, which is a little bit lighter. Um, but still a very good, strong aftershave. Definitely makes up for what the soap is lacking on the scent. But I don't want to waste any more of your time, guys. Let's get into the shave. The gear for tonight's shave will be a new brush that you've not seen in any of my videos before. This is from a fairly newer artisan uh, called Smiles for Miles. I'll leave a link down below to his Etsy page. He mainly does wood turning. He does some acrylic work as well. Uh, this is what I would call his signature look, the skateboard type brush. If you guys can see that there. It's got a, iridescent colors, different layers, different lines. Really dig this one. A little short, a little short stubby, little cute guy here with a synthetic knot on it. For the razor today, I will be using my Schick Injector Type G that was uh, custom refabricated, refabricated from North Shore razors. Let's get into it. Got some bloom water sitting in here. I did shower not too long ago. Go ahead and start loading it up. Try not to make a mess. Yeah, very light on the soap. Probably the lightest that I have from Phoenix. It's still a very good amount. You can definitely smell it when you're lathering up. And while you're shaving. But if you're looking for that classic in your face C case or uh, classic in your face Phoenix scent, this one here to me is a little lighter. Got some dry lather going on, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more water to my brush real quick. I definitely get very warm. I don't get a whole lot of citrus, personally. I get a lot of warm, woodsy, burnt resin tones, a little bit of mint, but ultimately I just describe it as a dark and foreign scent and it's, it's, it's very nice, very lovely. Something it could be worn on a date night and I think would be very well accepted for the simple fact that it's not overpowering. And I know a lot of women don't like the super overpowering ones as much as we do. So I think this would be a good safe choice. Getting that paintable sheen now. Looking good. 
and a little bit more water in my brush here. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Rinse my hands off. We're going to get right into this. I love this uh, Schick injector here. It's a beautiful piece. Love the color. That's why I had to have it. And just like all the other CK6 formulas, great slickness, great cushion. One of the best vegan post shaves on the market. But when I think of CK6, I'm sorry, when I think of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, I think of longevity and complexity. His scents are very, very unique. It's very rare that anybody has something that smells similar to his, unless he's going after a dupe or a classic or trying to imitate something else. But when it's one of his own creations, there's just really nothing on the market to compare it to. So I don't personally have anything to really that I've tried that's close to this. But think of like a like an allspice, maybe like a cinnamon, a frankincense would be, like I said, would be a very good uh, descriptive word. If you don't really, if you can't really picture a burnt resin woody scent. Because unless you smell the resin, it is kind of hard to distinguish. But nonetheless, it's just a very sophisticated scent. And I really enjoy this one. CK6 has good initial and very good residual too. I'm gonna go ahead and wet it up. Buff my few spots. Usually my uh, jawline right here is kind of where I have to hit it across like this. As you see, I'm not having any issues or any jumping of the razor from a dry rubbery skin effect. There's a nice good, res good layer of residual slickness here to get this going. Perfect. All right guys, let me rinse off and I'm gonna give you my final thought. Looking good. Already getting that nice post shave glow feeling, that tight or dry. Still smelling a reminiscent scent of the Copali on my face. So let's go ahead and finish it off with the aftershave. Like I said, scent strength is definitely boosted up in this quite a bit. Try and do this carefully here because it does like to come out pretty quick. No burning. Oh, did somebody else do that? Put it on, got the extra on your hands, just inhale it. Man, that smells so good. Very dark, woody, resin. It's just, it's really good. It's just something so different, something unique that's outside of my normal, you know, what I wear on a normal basis. I really like it. The, the foreign, the dark, the Southern America feel to it, the, you know, the Mesoamerica with the, with the Aztecs and the temples, you know, the whole thing is so cool. And if you guys have been turned off by PAA before due to the sense strength being too high, I think this one might be a shot for you then because it is a lower strength. And if you don't like the tall, you know, the more in your face sense strength, I think this one here is definitely gonna be more tolerable for you due to the fact that it is a little bit lighter than his other offerings. But guys, if you are into the woody resin sense, you don't wanna pass this one up. I think this one's really, really good. And it's perfect for a date night or just being next to somebody or being in a meeting. I mean, it's subtle, it's dark and it's woody and it's, I think it's very well. I like it a lot. At the time of shooting up this video, this scent is not released yet. So this information is just here for you guys when it is, when you're going and doing your YouTube research like we all like to do. Um, so I don't have a release date for you, but stay tuned. It will be coming shortly. Once again, guys, thanks for watching as always. Make sure you hit the like button if you liked it, disliked it if you didn't. Get subscribed if you're not already, and I will catch you in the next episode.